And happening now, a search possibly for bodies near a major highway after serial killer Todd Kolhep told someone that's where he hid more victims. Yeah, the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office is out in Ennery searching the woods right now with cadaver dogs. And that's where 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin is live and joins us. Kirsten, what's the latest on the search? There are no missing people from the time period Kolhep claims he built them back in 2003. Now, what we are standing about as close as we can get to where deputies are searching and have been for the past three hours, and we know of seven murder victims. If Cole have did bury two bodies somewhere along I-26 here, that could change everything we thought we knew about the upstate's most infamous serial killer. 20 Spartanburg County deputies with the help of cadaver dogs and a volunteer team heading down Sumner Road in Ennery Wednesday morning to start a search they never hoped would happen. He is a serial killer. Uh, I'm obligated to see if there's any more victims here, and if so, we're going to do the best we can to find them and then work it from there. Sheriff Chuck Wright of the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office, frustrated by a lack of evidence, but says they received a credible tip that upstate serial killer Todd Kolhep told someone about burying two more victims on the side of I-26 back in 2003. It's very wooded. I think a, peop, a lot of people hunt down here. You know, it's, it's that secluded in the area. Wright admitting he's not sure how true the information is, noting that Cole have may have a desire to stay in the spotlight for his murders. We haven't been able to corroborate any missing persons around the time frames, and we went back a few years even before that to make sure that um, you know he didn't mistake the times. We just haven't been able to corroborate a lot of his story. Kolhab is now behind bars serving seven life sentences for murder after confessing to burying three people on his Woodruff property in 2016 and shooting four others at a Superbike Motorsports in Chesney back in 2003. It wasn't until a kidnapping victim, Kayla Brown, was found locked in a shipping container on his property that the truth finally came out. I pray that, uh, that he will get his life right with Jesus Christ and uh, and come clean and tell some people and help them start the healing process too. And this is the first time the sheriff says they've searched for additional victims since they originally went back on his property in Woodruff nearly two years ago. We're live in Ennery tonight. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. All right, thanks so much, Kirsten.